We're at the Museum of Natural History here on Central Park West. And we'll be going in for a visit. Well, here we are at the Museum of Natural History. Now we've got the dinosaur exhibit here. And then the old Tyrannosaurus Rex. An Allosaurus, a large carnosaur. Well, how do you like the museum so far? How, oh, beautiful. I think it's always nice to see it again. Yeah. Mm. Oh, how do you like the dinosaurs? How do you like the dinosaurs? A triceratops. Well, some amateur paleontologists looking over the specimens. the gorilla. And the herd of elephants at the American Museum of Natural History. Oh, here's a piece of wolfenite. Some calcite. As a right. Some gold in that rock. And more. The Star of India. 563 carats. It's the largest gem quality star sapphire known. And from gems to meteorites, there's a big one. 34 tons of iron, right here. A giant geode. And petrified wood. Well, here we are at the pond in Central Park. Pond in Central Park. We're looking at some New York wildlife, some turtles swimming here. Here's the Dakota on Central Park West and 72nd Street. Strawberry fields. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl. At the Strawberry Field Memorial in Central.
Central Park. Well, here we are at Grand Central Terminal. Chrysler building. Well, here we are at the Bowery Savings Bank building. And the bank is here no longer. It's a magnificent room. It's now Cipriani's. And they stage all kinds of parties and events here for the wealthy. <laughs> oh, sculpture on the wall here. Center to go on the backstage tour of the Metropolitan Opera House. Unfortunately, no photography is allowed inside, so we just have these few pictures from the outside. Here we are in front of the Metropolitan Opera House. The Opera House at Night. <laughs> well, here we are at Macy's, the world's largest store. Oh, we're inside Macy's here. The ladies are looking around. Across the street from Macy's, we're in Herald Square here, statue of Minerva. Now approaching the Empire State Building. Well, here we are in the main lobby, the Art Deco lobby of the Empire State Building.
Well, looking out towards Jersey, there we are. Like the trip so far? Well, downtown New York, the Trade Center. See the Williamsburg Bridge in Brooklyn. We are up on the top of the world. Well, we're at the library on Fifth Avenue. Outside the public library with either Patience or Prudence, I don't know which one it is, but uh, here we are. You'll never guess what they're doing. <laughs> well, it's some sort of internet game called geocaching. I have no idea what it's, what it's about. But it's trying to find things that are hidden all over the world, basically. There's Astor Hall in the public library. We're in Bryant Park on a Saturday afternoon. Here we are on 47th Street. There's, you can see the Diamond Street, Diamond Exchange behind us. At Radio City Music Hall. Lobby of 30 Rock. As Prometheus. Holding up the heavens on Fifth Avenue. Now we're on our way to the Metropolitan Museum of Art here on Fifth Avenue. Admiring the art in front of an El Greco. All right, with Pablo Picasso. George Washington here. How do you like George? 
Yeah. There is George. <laughs> the Temple of Dendor in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Outside the Egyptian gallery. Right. At the model boat pond in Central Park. At Bethesda Fountain. How do you like Central Park? Lovely. Lovely. Well, at the statue of the women's rights pioneers, Sojourner Truth, Susan B. Anthony, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, in Central Park. on the boat to the Statue of Liberty. on the pedestal and here's a view of Ellis Island and Jersey City in the background and the island of Manhattan the Brooklyn Bridge and Governor's Island there's the Trade Center on the left financial district on the right How's the view? Uh, great view. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Staten Island Ferry making its way from Manhattan to Staten Island. There's the Verrazano Bridge on the distance, connecting Brooklyn with Staten Island.
you see the original torch, which was carried by Lady Liberty for about a hundred years until 1984 or 1986 when restoring. This is the registry room where our ancestors came through to the new world, in effect. We're outside of Castle Clinton. A national monument. And we are at Bowling Green. Here we are in the first public park in New York City. We're going on the tram over to Roosevelt Island. We're on the tram. Here we are on Roosevelt Island. Now we come around. And there's the 59th Street Bridge. We're going on the ferry. Comes our boat. Now we're on the ferry. South towards the Manhattan and Brooklyn bridges.
across the Wall Street. Just about to get off the boat. How did you enjoy the ride? Great, great. <laughs> well, we're on Wall Street. Here's the stock exchange. Well, here's Federal Hall. There's George Washington. Can't get to him because of the scaffolding, which is uh, all over the place. All right, walking on Wall Street. Trinity Church on Broadway at the foot of Wall Street. Inside Trinity Church. in their offices, okay. Oh, uh... Brooklyn. I don't know if we'll make it. We are at the Tenement Museum, 97 Orchard Street. So the cold, is that like included in your rent, like with the building? No, or I think you, you pay an extra fee to have exact access to the cold. Yeah, I think everybody pays their fee and then you just can come and collect every single day it's delivered. Coal is quite expensive, so people are going to send their kids out to the street to find partially burned coals to save on um, yeah, that expense, right? Um, talking about. We've been talking about rents a lot, right? Your rent is going to be dictated by where you live. So what's interesting is that back in the day, while we still have, you know, no indoor plumbing or using coal, the tenements closest to the courtyard will cost more money because everybody wants to live closer because it means less of a schlep for you, right? 
Uh, so, for instance, in the 1860s, our Irish family, uh, the Moors were fleeing the famine. We know they live on the fifth floor because the dad is only making five dollars a week. So it means five flights more labor for you as a woman, schlepping your coal, your water, carry. Well, we're here at the Eldridge Street Synagogue and we're going to go on the tour. Inside the Elder Street Synagogue Museum. from around the world. Chinatown here yes. on okay. Modern Bayard Street. Walking the streets of Chinatown. The entrance to the Manhattan Bridge, based on a Roman design. There's, there's the bridge through the arch. In Little Italy, we're in Little Italy now. Head straight. The heart of it. Oh, I might be a chip pizza. Waterfront in Long Island City. Uh, we have a nice view. There's the UN. And we see the buildings of Long Island City behind us. And there's the 59th Street Bridge in the distance. On, on the waterfront in Williamsburg. Oh, here we are at Brooklyn Heights. It's Plymouth Church where Lincoln spoke and prayed. And here's a statue of Henry Ward Beecher and a plaque for Lincoln. And here we are on Henry Street in Brooklyn Heights. Here we are on the Brooklyn Promenade. 
Let's go get Lola Manhattan. And we see Governor's Island, the Statue of Liberty. And the financial district. Yeah. Yeah, walking on the promenade. Brooklyn Bridge from the promenade. Well, we're outside the Neu Gallery here on the corner of 5th Avenue and 86th Street. We'll be going in, but there's no photography allowed. Solomon Guggenheim Museum and we're not going in but we're just admiring the unique architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright. In the lobby of the Guggenheim. Now we're at the reservoir in Central Park. Here's the reservoir. Uh, here we are in Central Park at the obelisk. It's from 1600 BC. It was presented to the city of New York by the Kedev of Egypt in 1881. Uh, a rabbit in Central Park. Great law. Now tell me if there's a concert. <laughs> My dad always says, <laughs> I listen to the Great Law. Maybe the. Oh, here's Belvedere Castle. A view of the great lawn with Turtle Pond in the foreground. There's the Delacorte Theatre, currently under renovations. It will reopen for the 2025 Shakespeare in the Park series. Lake in Central Park, and there's the Bow Bridge. Bow Bridge. We 
love, love Central, Central Park. Park. <laughs> Square. Here we are in Times Square. There's the Paramount building behind us. the arch, the Washington Arch. Okay, okay, what do you say? What, how do you say? How are you enjoying? You like Washington Square? I like Washington Square and we enjoy our time here. the exclusive Babo restaurant and next door is a building in which Lorraine Hansberry lived. Well here we are in the East Village on Bank Street looking at some of the old houses and there's 55 and 57 Bank Street dating from 1842. Number 68 is from 1853 Numbers 72 and 76 were built between 1839 and 1842. On our way to Little Island. Walking along the West Side Highway here. And we'll be at the island in a very short period of time. Now here's our first view of Little Island. Entering Little Island. Well, this island is a gift of Barry Diller who built and donated this island to the city of New York. We've reached the top of Little Island and we're looking south and there's downtown Manhattan, the Trade Center. The Verrazano Bridge. Liberty and New Jersey, Jersey City. 
Oh, we got a little video. Okay. Enjoying City Island? Yes, we are enjoying it. Okay, good. good. New Jersey. From the top of City Island. Going up to the High Line. Go! Oh. On the high line. Hudson Yards. Looking up 11th Avenue North from the High Line. Here we are on the High Line looking east and there we can see Hudson Yards and the vessel in the middle. Nice, right? Now we're in Astoria Park looking out over the East River. Now we see the Triborough. We're looking at the Hellgate Bridge in a story from the Story of Park. A freight train crossing the Hellgate. <laughs> 